If you have an inquiring mind and a curious nature, I've got something for you to think about. I'm up here on a mountain in the dark on my own. And not so long ago, literally just a few minutes ago, I could see all around me. I could see in all directions. But I can't now because it got dark. And it got dark really quickly. Have you heard that expression before? You know, it got dark really quickly. But how could the dark arrive so fast, so quickly? Have you ever wondered what is the actual speed of dark? <laughs> I know. We all know there's something called the speed of light and light is real. It's an electromagnetic radiation. So it exists. But dark, so we're told, is just the absence of light. So dark on its own doesn't actually exist and nothing that doesn't exist can have a speed. But I would say in some ways the speed of dark is it's the same as the speed of light. Yeah, I know, it's, that sounds a bit strange, but bear with me on this one. Think about it this way. Let's say that for somehow you find yourself up in space um, and you just happen to have a light bulb and a battery. You turn the light on and the electromagnetic radiation spreads out in all directions. And then you turn the light off for a short while and then you turn it back on again. So the first pulse of light is still spreading out in all directions followed by the second pulse of light. But in between those two bits of light, those two pulses, there's dark, there is a section of dark, and it is moving at the same speed as the light. So in this case, does dark move at the speed of light? I don't know. <laughs> if you've got any comments, post them in the box. Thanks for watching.